Hi everyone, this is Lo. This video is a tutorial about stealth, radar, vision, clock, omni, jammer. So, vision is basically this uh, ring that uh, you can see where fog of war disappears. You can see this uh, civilian track. It doesn't have radar sonic, it only has vision. Here's a scout, land scout, it has vision radius and radar. Here is a stealth field. You see this brownish color, it, it indicates stealth field. It even has animation here that it's working. And here is a sonar. Don't mind, it's on land, but here the sonar, it's a greenish radius. radius. Here's the Omni ray range. It's the darker red color Omni radius. So let's start with vision. Uh, so vision is uh, just another ring, just li like all other rings, and uh, you just can't see it. Uh, if you have been playing uh, vanilla, uh, you would remember how vision looked there. Compared to FA, I will show you here in a second. So here you can see in this video that it's kind of jagged on the edges, blocky, and doesn't update every like every instant. It updates really slowly in vanilla. In FA, it sub it updates uh, quicker, but it only looks looks very smooth. But it is in fact blocky, and it does um, it's just the same as in vanilla. But it looks good. Usually you don't notice it, but uh, here you see an like one RT vision radius, and you can see some ceilings are away from this vision radius but uh, some are i mean they are here I, I can show you they're here but uh, you can't see them they kind of should be in the vision radius but they are not, can't be seen. What's important is that um, you can see half of the unit or half of the building like gateway sticking out from the fog of war. You either see whole unit or you don't see anything. Uh, refresh speed of uh, this um, uh, vision radius is not that great as well. It's better than um, better than an vanilla but still it's not it, it looks very smooth looks instantaneous but if you look here it uh, units kind of pop into existence here yeah it's not instantaneous and a uh, side uh, effect of this vision radius ring is kind of lagging beca behind those units uh, so uh, retreating units will uh, have easier time to see unit that is chasing them while units are that chasing other unit will have harder time chasing it and sometimes it will disappear out of their vision radius while units that is retreating will see them most of the time and that's a minor thing it rarely happens but it may happen to you and I just uh, don't want you to blame magical powers or some kind of bullshit I just uh, don't want you to think that game is somehow rigged against you because I I know people that think this way and start to rage about it some units uh, don't have vision radius at wa like walls they don't have vision radius and some units don't uh, show, don't remove fog of war thing, but they still have vision radius. Unfinished buildings behave this way. And death, death scouts. I mean, if I show that, I control K it. While it's falling all this time, you can see, you can see things, but when it died, it, it, uh, it's only then vision is removed. So yeah. 
if I go to the vision of the blue player, you can see things are there. Why vision and radar is important is because um, some units, I mean many units have their vision smaller than their attack range. So here is the Quan PD and it can't attack Auroras. Here is another tech one PD. And it can attack Auroras because there is a scout next to it. And so that PD died without a scout. Just just one tiny little bit. Um, the attack radius of PD is bigger than its vision radius. So it actually can be important when you're playing Aeon and want to kill a PD. If there are no radar, you can kill a PD. Also, sinking units, or I guess all units during the death animation, uh, before they turn into a wreck, um, they all give um, their full like vision and radar and stuff like that. You can see this frigate is dead, but it's sinking and giving full vision about this stuff and again it's actually pretty cool and important you can see this scout and i'm control king it right now but you can see still radar it, it spots things with the radar and if i control k it later it will spot things with its body yeah, so that's very important when you're scouting, you should understand that you can actually scout things, whatever many SAMs and defense there is, if you can throw your plane body in there, it will actually scout things, so if you scout over a mount, you know, oh come on. Do it. They probably make stupid stuff. It will fly if if it has high elevation elevation when you scout over a mountain. Um, you can if it gets killed there, it will fly further away and will scout more. So don't <laughs> let Sam's. Um, Wow, don't let Sam deny your scout. Yeah. Well, now I hope I didn't forget anything else. Next thing is water vision. Yeah, water vision. So uh, things, uh, planes that are flying above, they can't see things underwater. Even with sonar, we have a bunch of stealth things here. So those torpedo bombers can't see underwater. Those uh, submarines are stealth, but what's counted to stealth is vision. So you can see that those torpedo bombers, they can't see here. And here we have um, frigate. It only has this big vision radius. It's very small. Um, this um, uh, destroyer has this big vision radius. I actually don't know why he can see here. Oh my god. Yeah, it can it can see past this ring, so it's kind of kind of broken it seems because his vision radius ring only stretches out this way, but I mean it can see further away. I didn't I didn't notice that before. Do we have had any destroyers? Uh, available here. Let's take UEF one. Yeah, same story for other destroyers. And yeah, here is a cruiser. Cruisers uh, can be very handy in armies uh, against stealth 
uh, submarines because they have big vision radius, vision underwater radius. And battleship is here, it has 50 radius against 60 here and about 40 here. So battleships are kind of fine, they have 50 radius. So that's water, water vision. Um, so radar is next. Radar is kind of simple. Things that, um, well, it sees everything in the air, everything on, on the ground, everything above the water, radar can see. But things that stand in the, in the water, radar will not see them. So let's do that. So here we have radar. And here we have two support commanders. One is in the water and one is not. And um, here you can see we, we can only see one here. If we move this ACU back, we can see another here. So, yeah, that's radar for you. Um, and uh, there are many things that have radar. Many units have it. I mean, even this destroyer does have small radar radius um, mostly tech one radar scouts sparky has it air scouts tech three air scouts many things have radar i'm not gonna talk about all of them so now sona pretty much the same as radar but it can see things on the surface of the water things that hover over the surface of the water things that landed on the surface of the water and things that are underwater and i mean you don't have to have uh, uh, sonar in this lake to see things inside that should be obvious uh, that you don't have it, it, it's not really uh, realistic so yeah yeah i forgot to mention yeah uh the sonar radius here greenish color uh acu also has sonar and you don't need to like pay for it and here you see a uh, unit underwater it's it's sonar sonar can see it acu has sonar um i mean cyber and acu only op faction yeah so important part here is that the units that are hovering above surface will also be seen like this transport is uh, landed on the water so submarines will target it well, that's what well, that is the same and this thing is also uh, land it on the water even if it can even if it doesn't look like it it is a thing thing that's landed on the water and it can be seen by sonar so yeah that's sonar stealth stealth is the next big thing you can see here we have uh two stealth fields one from the um sonar platform and one from the mermaid sonar anti-sonar boat so how it looks like when we have only sonar here we have two sonars here and you can see that this large radius is working now this large this radio is not so big it's also working what if we enable radar oh what is this and uh, if you hover now over things it's actually pretty new for me not like this let's say do we have a cyber and ACCU? if we see the two torpedo launcher you can see it has personal sonar stealth and it, it has personal radar stealth and yes those things those are two different things sonar stealth and radar stealth and i mean for tech 3 sonar it never mentioned anything oh okay okay it actually mentioned my god it it's a new thing yeah so not many people know yet you can see sonar field radius 90 radar stealth field radius 45 and before that nobody knew about it so here is here we see if we enable radar we start seeing things that above ground here those frigates uh, big radius 
does not protect from radar. Big radius does not protect from radar, so it's not very, not that useful. Yeah, stealth is not a sphere, so we have some underwater units here without stealth, and we have a sonar and radar here. So if we go to the blue player here, we have a, a shield that is a bubble. You can see it's a bubble, but here is a sonar. You can, you can see how far above the ground it is. And here is a deep below the Wagners and it protects them. This, there is a stealth in the transport there. So yeah, that's uh, th th one thing you can remember. Uh, here are generally most things that have stealth. That's um, stealth fields, stealth receivers, stealth air units, stealth water units. All things also have personal stealth, even though it's pretty useless because once they scouted this, they stay. And of course, SACU and ACU also have stealth upgrade. Forgot to put them here. Um, okay, so that's stealth. So let's go about Cybron Eye. Cybron Eyes here is only providing visual radius. So not mentioning in a tooltip, but yeah, it's only providing visual radius, no underwater vision, no anything else, just vision radius. Um, Ryzen Eye, it can see stealth, it gives vision, but it doesn't reveal clock. You can see a bunch of cloaked units there, and it can even see underwater, that's a cloaked AC, not, not cloaked, that's... Um, Stealth ACU right there. I can't see not stealth ACU. I mean cloak ACU. Here it is. Yeah, I don't see particles coming away from here. That's weird. Yeah, so that's an eye. It can see underwater, but it can't see on me. Uh, jammer. Yeah. Those are um, things that have jammer. It's a sparky, the gun ship, frigate. Uh, and SACU, and I think that's it. I think there is no more jamming, unless you count Seraphim crystals. So how does it look like? So, yeah. If you scout it once, uh, blips will disappear. If you apply Omni, blips will disappear. Um, and even if you scout once and apply Omni once, blips will disappear. But if you turn that thing on and off, the jamming, blips will get restored as they were before. So there is, I think there's even a UI mod that toggles this jammer once a minute. So if you get scouted, it restores the jamming. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It works in the transport as you can see and uh, if you have uh, underwater units like I can select something like a frigate, I don't know, uh, not ready. So yeah, I, I can't, it's, it's stupid. Yeah, it's underwater but I can attack it because it's a ground unit. Actually, this stealth ah it, it not restored because I can toggle units in the transport yeah anyway whatever you can see those are underwater jamming so next thing is clock um. Here is a bunch of cloaked units and basically cloak, cloak protects from vision radius um, 
and pretty much it if you manage to spot a cloaked unit even for a short period of time you can attack him attack it and uh, attack command will lock on it and it, he will not able to escape so what's also important to understand that clocking only hides from vision it doesn't hide from radar those two guys and this Celine they have cloak and stealth so they are they can't be seen can't be found by radar scouts or anything they you need omni to see them and here we have a bunch of cloaked units that don't have um, stealth. So when you apply radar, they are found. And I think it's kind of weird, but if you apply Omni, they, all, they can be seen. Which is kind of weird, because I thought clocking should protect you from that. Yeah, and you can see it's a Beatles and... Um, Malls, very similar there. So what another thing that is uh, lacking here You remember Seraphim Scouts, they should um, give um, Vision for 10 seconds in the place where they die. It doesn't happen those guys I Should not make too many of them they should give vision with their torpedoes but that that doesn't happen and lobos should get give vision with their shots and that also doesn't happen that's a bug uh, that was uh, added by a recent patch and it's uh, hopefully gonna get fixed in the next patch so omni can see literally everything you can't hide from it no way to hide from it uh, ACUs has have Omni, Tech 3 Scouts have Omni, Omni um, Raider have a big range of Omni, GC has Omni, Support Commanders has have small arm Omni, um, Aeon ACU can have an Omni upgrade, here it is, yeah it's pretty big vision and Omni radio that it gives, it's an Aeon ACU. Um, Support Commander for Seraphim upgrade has um, increased uh, Omni radius. I'm not sure about radar. UF also has similar upgrade here. Increased Omni. So next thing, if you see bleeps, you can probably know what units are there. But I haven't really um, checked it that much. But there are differences like this is a hover unit i can see um uh, yeah this is a hover unit again i can see that with torpedo things if i select um frigate i can see a submerged unit here and here it is no what the hell yeah there are no sonar i think where is the sonar yeah here is a submerged unit there you can see but submerged building here it he can attack it submerged harms it can't attack it's weird it's not uh, not consistent so buildings above ground under uh, above water in the water and pretty much above water but really submerged and uh, everything you can see on the radar they are all um, building bleeps units in the transport land units in the transport they are still air unit bleep and everything on the water whether that be hover unit submarine <laughs> surface submarine and the water unit that on the ground landed on the um, ground unit by the way let's check something yeah it will hover above if it has a cargo um you can see it with radar and it's the buffa naval units there pretty fun 
Uh, sonar, please. Yeah. So... Yeah, you can select submarine or frigate or other units. It's weirder with um, ACU, you can see. You can also select ACU to know what unit it is just by hovering over it. But I haven't really checked, so I can just tell you about submarine and other units. Mm. Uh, Sumtech 3 scouts, EF1, and um, I think there was another one. Yeah, and AN1, they don't have. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, Aeon and UEF don't have sonar on the Tech 3 scouts, which is really weird, and I don't know why that is. They just don't have it. Um, what else interesting would be here? Yes, yeah, I said personal stealth. Those are some other units with sonar. And I think that's it. That's it what I can tell you about. Intel, no, that's not it. Yeah. About unfinished stuff vision. Here is a czar and it will have vision over those, thi those things. We reclaim it back. Vision disappears. Yeah, Zar has big vision and well, I can't control Kate why it's being built. I can't control Kate at all. So yeah, this is pretty much how it will look if it was built. And you can see things are there in its vision radius. And if we destroy those things, vision disappears. That's kind of like cheaty, I think. I I just had an idea. If we get here, support ACU, and we need to get bunch of water vision, and boom, we have it. Because Atlantis has a lot of vision. Yeah, how much? This is the vision pretty much is anti-air radius, so we don't have to uh, have an Atlantis. We can just build Atlantis. I mean, we, we just start Atlantis without finishing it, just to uh, get a bunch of uh, vision. If we need it against subs. Yeah, one another thing that I forgot. Also can't control Kaze. So yeah, hover units. I didn't know they have the water vision. That's also a new thing. I didn't know they had a water vision because uh, the database doesn't say so, but now I can see it ha they have water vision of 10. That's why I probably forgot it should be obvious now. Hover units and many units in general have small water vision. Yeah. Well, now that should be it. Yeah. So I hope that was. Hope that was. Interesting or informative or useful. Hope it wasn't too long. So yeah. More to more tutorials or interesting videos to come. See you in the next one.